Hi everybody, day 31 of 31 days on how to radically change your prayer life. Today, we're talking about praying the Lord's Prayer, or maybe even better stated, praying the principles of the Lord's Prayer. Jesus said in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, after his disciples had asked him, please teach us to pray as John taught his disciples to pray. And so Jesus said, pray this way. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. What an awesome prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. And yes, Jesus has gone to the cross since then, and Jesus has been resurrected. And the New Testament believer now comes to the Father on the basis of the blood of Jesus and using the name of Jesus. But I believe there are principles in what we refer to as the Lord's Prayer that can help us in our daily prayer life. First of all, Jesus said to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, we acknowledge the supremacy, the stature, and the awesomeness of our Father God because he is the creator of the entire universe. He and he alone is God. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said, Hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> the name of the Lord is to be held in a holy esteem. Holy is the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that we are to speak the name with a reverence and an awe and a respect and not flippantly or lightheartedly. And then Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Here's the key, on earth as it is in heaven. God wants us to experience, as the book of Deuteronomy says, days of heaven on the earth. He wants the will of the Father wrought in our lives so we're experiencing the blessings of heaven and the power of heaven even while we're still here on this earth. And then Jesus said, pray this way, give us this day our daily bread. God wants to meet our need, even our material need. He wants to take care of our material needs just as much as he wants to take care of our spiritual needs. We're to ask of the Lord and let him be our source and our supply and our answer to material needs. Glory be to God. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We are not to forget that we have to walk a walk of forgiving others even as we expect God to forgive us. When we walk in forgiveness, then God is at working towards us, how he treats us by forgiving us. Glory to God. And then Jesus said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know, it's interesting to me that so many people think that God leads them into evil and to terrible circumstances. When Jesus told the disciples to pray, that the Father would not lead them in temptation, but he would deliver us from evil. And then he went on and said, for thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. We can never take the credit for what God does. We can never take credit and take his glory away from him. He is the glorious and all-powerful Father, and we must recognize that. Praise the Lord. I hope you've enjoyed these 31 days as we've gone through all these different aspects. I trust that they've been a blessing to your life. I trust that they've helped you in your prayer walk and prayer life, and it's radically transforming your ability to approach the Father and get things done for the kingdom and have things working in your life in your arena of prayer. So God bless you. Thank you for tuning in over these 31 days, and we speak the blessing and peace and the glory of God over your life in Jesus' name. If you would like to be able to contact us, our phone number is area code 336-852-0088. If you live in the Greensboro area, please come join us and visit. We'd love to have you and, and be able to minister life to you. Until we see each, each other again, may God's richest and best be yours. Amen.